Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. And today I would like to discuss with you the different sections of time or portions of creation which already exist at this very present moment and how to actually take off your current section of time and merge with another by Neville Goddard. I would like to start by sharing the story that Neville Goddard shared in one of his lectures called He Dreams in Me, explaining how everything already exists. And this is why when we are manifesting something, we are basically claiming that which already is. Now, I know from my own experience that what Neville is saying is indeed true. For I have merged with the future and lived an experience which has not materialized yet, but which I knew with a hundred percent certainty has already happened. And it happened to me in a state akin to sleep. I literally saw what was about to happen. And it happened almost instantly. There were other times when I knew something to be true without the knowing based on the evidence of my senses. As an example, I would hear someone saying something in my mind, only to discover the unread message from them saying the exact same thing. I have also consciously practiced the law of assumption and proved to myself time and time again that linear time is an illusion and that every possible reality has already been created and exists now in the unseen form. Thus, the future that you think has not happened yet, in fact, has already happened. Now, the way for you to see with your physical eyes that what you want has already happened is to persist in the assumption or the knowing that it has already happened. This is what Neville is saying. Let me begin by telling you what happened to me last Tuesday morning. Early in the morning, desiring to check the time, I switched on the television to the Today Show. Hugh Downs, the master of ceremonies, having been given a cue to ad lib for the next 30 seconds or so, said, Let me tell you of a dream I once had. In the dream, I was viewing a tape of one of my shows. When I said to the producer, do you know, I don't remember having seen any of these people. And the producer replied, that's understandable, for this show is to be taped next Friday. When the following Friday arrived, the show I had dreamt of only a few days before was taped. In his dream, Hugh Downs merged with the future and lived an experience he did not remember. So he saw the show and all these people before the show was actually taped, which confirms the fact that the future that we think has not happened yet has already been created, and although invisible, is now a fact in the unseen. You can tune into that future or the reality by experiencing it in your imagination now, as though it has already happened. And if you remain faithful to that unseen reality, it will be seen or objectified on the screen of space. Now, here is another story from Neville's lecture, in which he talks about the lady who merged with the past and lived an experience of long ago, which she did not remember. Now, let me tell you of one who merged with the past and lived an experience of long ago. The lady writes, I am 72 years old. In my dream, I'm a 10-year-old girl, asking my father to write in my autograph book. Having memorized a verse I wanted him to write, I dedicated it to him, as he recorded it in my book. Then the dream ended. Although I could not remember the poem prior to the dream, Upon awakening, I recalled every word in detail. A few days later, while visiting my daughter, I told her of the dream. And when I recited the poem, my daughter went to her library and, removing an old autograph book I had given her many years before, 
turn to the page where the verse was autographed by my third grade teacher. Returning 62 years, this lady merged with a fact and remembered an experience of long ago. If a lady can return and so merge with the past that she can relieve an experience of long ago in detail, and a man can advance into the future and interview those who will be taped the following Friday, where is the experience of the past and where is next Friday's show? Is everything already finished and we simply tune in on certain states? Yes, for this is a dream which you can modify or radically change. In fact, you are called upon to revise every day of your life and sometimes even to eradicate it. Neville goes on to say, This is a world of death and everyone here is dead, dreaming the dream of life. Modern man now concludes that the entire history of the world is laid out and we only become aware of increasing portions of it successively. That you can merge with a section of the beginning or future relative to this moment and experience that portion of history. How can that be? Because you are now merged with a dream. Awakening in the morning, you think you had a wonderful dream last night. Yet while you were dreaming, the experience was a reality. Awake, the dream becomes subjective. Why? Because you have once more merged with this section of time. While you are experiencing the dream, it is objective and real. So the dreams that you are having at night are just as real as the reality that you are experiencing now. You see you are scattered everywhere at once. Thus you can merge with a particular section of time. And as you merge with it, it will become objective to you or the only reality. This is why whatever you desire is already so. All you need to do is to adjust your thinking to the state or reality desired until it becomes alive within you or you feel the reality of it or you feel the internal relief of possessing whatever it is that you want now. And at that moment, the state will objectify itself in your world. Neville says, a subjective desire reflected upon becomes objective, just like the dream last night. Although subjective, when you awaken and once more merge with this section of the dream, during the night it seemed the only reality. You can take off this section of the dream, and as you merge with another, it will seem to be the only reality. The whole vast world is finished. And you and I are merged in a dream from which we are awakening. So since everything exists now, that means that you already have what you want at this very present moment. And as you internally become aware of already having your desire and you remain faithful to that awareness of having what you want, you get to externalize your desire on the screen of space. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.